Hello guys, it's me again, Take the Screw Out. If you haven't subscribed on this channel, please consider subscribing and share the video and click that thumbs up icon and notification bell. So if there's a new video coming out, you'll be the first one to be notified. Check the description down below for the equipment and tools that I use in this video which is available to purchase in Amazon.com in United States and Amazon.co.uk UK in United Kingdom. Okay, on this video it shows step by step on how to repaste, how to change the thermal pads, the thickness of the thermal pads and how to replace and clean the cooling fans. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. But first, the screwdriver that I'm going to use is the Wowstick electric screwdriver and it has a screw bits Phillips screw which is VH1 and I also use this screwdriver which is equivalent to VH1. And this is the first option. If you want to remove and replace the fan, what you're going to do first is to unscrew six screw of the front fascia. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then lift up the front cover. And then to remove the fan, the fan has three screw in each fan. Okay, then remove the fan. Then you need to detach these two fan connector here, but be careful removing those because they could easily break. So I recommend to, to use um, special tools like this. It's like, um, it's like a plier. This is designed for removing like um, a house pliers. So if you're interested to buy one of these, I put it in the description below. Okay, this is the part number of the fan. And this is the, the third fan, the separate one. You also remove in the other side, you also detach these two connectors. This is for the LED lights. Guys, I really recommend to use these tools because this is only very cheap, like five pounds in United Kingdom or maybe six or seven dollars in United States but it's very handy because before in the past I, I don't use a tool like this and then I just pull the cord out the wire breaks or the connector breaks so this is very handy and then the second option, if you want to change the thermal pads or repaste, all you're going to unscrew is 14 screw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. 
this five screw here you don't need to unscrew if you just want to change the thermal pads because that one is the one that holds this metal bracket here on the side so it's not necessary to remove that just for to change the thermal pads So pay attention with the screw guys because these three screw here are just a normal long screw but this one is different. It's a bit longer one. So just pay attention, don't mix them up. Okay, so carefully detach the heatsink from the PCB. This is what I'm talking about, that five screw, screw here, so you don't need to touch that one. Because that is the one that holds this bracket, metal bracket here on the side. So the thickness of the thermal pads, this thermal pad is quite thick, by the way this thermal pad is still very good, this is, a, this is still the stock thermal pads from the factory. When I open this one, this is still sealed from the screw, it's still intact, so this is from the factory. They're the same same thickness so all the thermal pads being used on this side is two millimeter and there's one thermal pads on this side is a bit thinner So we will see what's the thickness of this. So this one here is 1.5 millimeter. So this one here 1.5 and this side here, this one side here are 2 millimeter. Ah, I've discovered something. You got three thickness of the thermal pads. So this one is 1.5 millimeter. This one, this one, one, two, and this two long one are two millimeter. So this this one goes normally here. is a different thickness. This is 2.5 millimeter. It's quite thick. So okay this one here this two are two millimeter this one here is 2.5 and this one here is 1.5 so three different thickness okay and also on this bracket here if you remove this five screw you can see one square thermal pads here which is exactly the same thickness of this one 2.5 so it's inside underneath on this bracket so this two is 2.5 this four one two three four are two millimeter and this one piece here is 1.5 
So to clean the residue of the thermal paste, I normally use an I 99.9 isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth. Make sure the, the cloth is clean. So if you notice it, the condition of the thermal pad is still really really good. So I don't need to replace that. This card is just slightly used and is a few months old. Okay, the thermal paste that I'm going to use on this video is an Arctic MX4 but I have a good recommendation for the Noctowa NTH2 or the SYY thermal paste. They are good performer. So this one is also is a good performer. It's a good thermal paste. It's quite cheaper compared to the Noctowa. Okay, it's time to put it back together. Put it back the fan. And connect the fan connector. When installing back the fan, you have to make sure the screw hole and the plastic hole will sit properly. 
otherwise it could cause your problem that the, the fan will touch in the front shroud. So connect the other fan connector, the black one. And check for the spin. Make sure it doesn't wobble, doesn't touches anything. Free spin, looks good. And then you have to connect put it back the front shroud and before you put it back you have to connect the two LED connector on the other side so using the tweezer to make it easier for you to squeeze in the connector When put it back the front shroud, you have to rotate a little bit the fan so that it could squeeze from the gap of the blades. Squeeze, there you go. There you go, the other one, other side. That's it. So you have to screw it in. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. If you find this video helpful, please like, share the video, and subscribe as well so that it could uh, help this channel to make more videos for you in the future. Thank you for watching.